Hi, my name is Akshay Joshi and today I am going to demo import export server groups and servers using pgadmin4. Server definitions and their groups can be exported to a JSON file and re-imported to the same or a different system to enable easy pre-configuration of a pgadmin. Import export can be achieved using the following two ways. First, using setup.py command line script, which is an old behavior. You can provide the option hyphen hyphen dump hyphen server to export and hyphen hyphen load hyphen server to import using this command line script. Another option is using import export servers wizard, which is recently implemented and have been released with version 6.4. So let's see how we can achieve this. To open a import export servers wizard, go to the tools menu, select import export servers. Here is the wizard where you can see import and export. There are two options. So I am demoing export first. Select the export. Select the file where you want to export all the, all the servers. So I am creating export server. Remove all the existing server option is disabled for export part. It will be enabled only in case of a import. I will demo it later. So click on the next button. This is the database server selection part where you can see the identical hierarchy as you can see in the left hand side of the browser tree. From this page, you can select the server groups or servers, whatever you want to export. So here, if you can see that we can select the complete server group or we can select the server itself. So I'm selecting PostgreSQL 10 from the development group and PostgreSQL 13 and 14 from the QA group. Click on the next button. This is the summary page where you can see whatever selection you have made in the last page. Click on the finish button. All the servers that you have selected is exported successfully. Let's verify the server that we have exported is exported correctly in the JSON format or not. For that, again, open the import export wizard, select the import and select the same file that we have created. Click on the next button. In this database server selection page, you can see that I have selected Postgres 10 from the development server group and Postgres SQL 13 and Postgres SQL 14 from the QA group. It means that export is successfully done and it is into the proper JSON format. Now I am demoing the import part. Open the import export server wizard. Select import and select the file from where you want to import. So I have already created a demo server .json file. I selected that. Click on the next button. This file contains the production servers from US region, from UK region and from India region. So I am selecting Postgres 10 from the US region, EPAS 11 from the UK region and Postgres SQL 9.6 and EPAS 13 from the India region. Click on the next button. This is again a summary page, whichever servers you want to import, this shows that. Click on the finish button. When you click on the finish button, servers were imported successfully. Click on the OK button and check the left hand side browser tree. You can see that whatever server and server group I have selected is present here. Now I will demo the remove option. For that, again, I select the tools menu. Open the import export server wizard. Select the same file demo servers. Here remove all the server all the existing servers is selected. If this option is turned on, then BG admin will remove all the existing database servers and then import the selected servers. This setting is applicable only while importing the servers. This time I, I will select some different servers so that you can see that in the browser tree whether it is removing the existing servers or not so this time i will select postgres 9.6 from us epas 9.6 from uk and postgres 14 and 13 from the india region click on the next button again this is the summary page click on the finish button it says that the existing server group and servers were removed and the selected server were imported successfully so you can see in the left hand side of the browser tree all the existing servers has been removed and what whatever servers you have selected 
it is there so this is how import export works thank you so much